Lycos, Managing Director of 72 and Sunny LA, and we're coming to you live from Sport Beach at the center of the 2023 Can Lions Festival of Creativity, where we're celebrating the intersection of sport, culture, and the future of fandom with some of the biggest names in the business. Kevin, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, Kevin Demoff, so first trip to Can. Uh, nice. Great to come hang out here at Sports Beach and 72 and Sunny in Sagwell, but I oversee everything Los Angeles Rams. So if you're happy with the Rams, that's our staff. If you're unhappy, that's usually me. Yeah. <laughs> and what was your path to your current role? Uh, path to my current role. So I was, uh, I started off in the internet in the late 90s because that's what everybody did. Yeah. Uh, then I went to the Arena Football League, to business school, and then to the NFL. So kind of a sports role the whole time with a minor detour towards a boombust.com company. Yes, nice. <laughs> um, what's something that you want the world to know about the Los Angeles Rams? I want us to know that we're risk takers, innovators. I think it's one of the reasons why we're here in Cannes, France. We believe that sports is what connects people, but we should be taking chances, growing our brand, thinking internationally. We're in Mexico, China, Australia, New Zealand. I think when people think NFL, they think NFL and what they see on Sundays. I want them to think of SoFi Stadium, global sports and entertainment leadership. I want them to think of an aggressive risk taking brand that really sets the standard, hopefully, for the NFL and for sports teams in general. Yeah, that's awesome. My next question was going to be about a priority for your business, but is that the priority, or are there other priorities for your business, the well, biggest one for this year? Well, the priority for the biggest priority for the business is to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, there you go. That, fair, fair. Usually, <laughs> usually is yeah. where we start. That's a good um, place to start. But then, to, you know, the number one priority we have every year is growing our fan base. Mm -hmm. The lifeblood of any team in any sport is always having more fans and yeah. having more avid fans, having more casual fans. And everything we do as a brand is geared towards finding new fans, keeping the fans we have happy, mm -hmm. and then growing those fans into true super fans. That's awesome. Um, where, like, how do you view fandom beyond that and how it impacts your business? Well, look, I think fandom, especially in a place like Los Angeles, is what brings a community together. Mm -hmm. So when you think about fandom in Los Angeles and being part of the Rams, whether you're a season ticket holder, whether you're a five-year-old who's watching for the first time, whether you live in the Inland Empire and you want to be connected, sports is what brings Los Angeles together as a community. When you think about Southern California, 20 million people, yeah. many who grow up different places, who have different interests, speak different languages, come mm -hmm. from different socioeconomic backgrounds, our sports teams are what bond us. Yeah. And I think you saw that in our run to the Super Bowl a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. When you come to a game at SoFi Stadium, you're bringing together a collection of all of Southern California. And so I think when you talk about fandom for us, it's about creating community. Mm -hmm. It's about creating bonds through the power of football mm -hmm. and then having people explore those further into who we are and becoming a better Los Angeles. That's amazing, that's amazing. We at 72 and Sunny are committed to diversity and inclusion. I know you are too. Do you, is there anything you wanna share on that front that you and the Rams are doing? Yeah, I mean, we're extremely proud. We are, by all data metrics, I believe the most diverse team in the NFL. Mm. Uh, our leadership team is 50% female. Our actual team overall outside of the football staff is more than half female, which I believe is the only team in the NFL. But I think when you talk about diversity, that's all, diversity stats, we have to get better always, like everybody, at inclusion, making sure everybody in our team feels valued, and I think that extends to fandom as well, making mm -hmm. sure that our fan base is diverse, inclusive, and feels represented. That's amazing. Um, 72 and Sunny at the core is really about optimism in action. Um, what's a recent example of how your brand has shown optimism? Well, look, I think every year in sports is about optimism. Yeah, we spend fair. the whole op season <laughs> nine months selling hope. And if you can't sell <laughs> hope to your fans, hope to your community, it's about optimism. We went five and 12 last year. Yeah. If you're not optimistic <laughs> about the future, you've got it. You know, there's something wrong with you. But I, I truly think that's where we're at yeah. as a brand. And what we sell to people is the path to a better Los Angeles, whether it's getting involved in the community, tackling homelessness, mm -hmm. social injustice, and the hope that those can be solved within Los Angeles and our community, whether it's our players getting involved and in trying to expand their brands. Everything is about growing each other mm -hmm. and being a better tomorrow than we were last year. I think when you look at, we hired the youngest coach in the NFL in yeah. sports history, that's optimistic and what sure. they can become. And surely Sean's on his way to being a Hall of Famer. Everything we do, is about providing hope for our team, for our fans and our community. Very well said, very well said. Um, we also value partnership, I know you do too, um, but what made you uh, want to work with 72 and Sunny? All good things come back together, mm -hmm. and so it's been great to partner with 72 and Sunny over the past few years as we try to grow our brand once we're in SoFi Stadium, once we try to reimagine what the Los Angeles Rams can be at SoFi, in mm -hmm. our community, and globally, 72 and Sunny has been an amazing partner for us in finding that brand voice and growing our brand throughout the world. Awesome. 
Anything else? But they should have done it five years ago. <laughs> fair, fair. I wasn't here, Kevin, I know, five I, years ago. <laughs> everybody, everybody take points, fingers, other places. I just want for the record. Yeah, it's for we the were, record. We were ready in 2015. <laughs> okay, noted, noted. <laughs> um, that was actually our last question. Anything else you'd want to uh, share? No, thank okay. you so much for having me. Awesome. Well, um, thanks, Kevin, for an insightful conversation. That's it for now. Make sure to track hashtag SportBeach2023 and check out Stagwell social media to get on in the action from the entire week.